Welcome to Gator Vision. We are your hosts. I'm Nathan Nickman. I'm Wesley Jones. Today, we'll see City State Nation, news on dodgeball tournament, and winners of the HUE, an entertainment review, an instructional video, and a fun game. Let's turn it to Riley Cornine for City State Nation. Welcome back to this week's segment of Gator Vision. Today, we'll be seeing what's going on in our city, state, and nation. For City News, the Kansas City Monarchs returned to KC after 50 years. The Kansas City Monarchs Fan Festival was hosted at Union Station on Saturday, May 8th. Admission was completely free. For state news, Missouri's Governor Mike Parson has declared that all state employees may return to normal pre-COVID-19 work settings before May 17th. For Nation News, the Lincoln Center, located in Washington, D.C., is opening 10 more outdoor stages to be performed on. That's all for this week's City State Nation. I'm Riley Cornine for Gator Vision. Now to Reese for a look at the upcoming dodgeball tournament. Welcome back to this week's segment of Gator Vision. I'm Emerson Wood, and today we'll be learning about this year's dodgeball tournament. As many know from the dodgeball tournament two years ago, you had to pay a small amount of money to watch the tournament. But this year, there is no fee to watch, and classes will be on assembly schedule. The overall winning team will receive $100 in cash. If you are participating in this event, good luck and may the best team win. The teams participating this year will have to be between five to eight players, but sadly there will be no intermingling between grade levels. This means other grade levels will not be competing against each other. And the new scoreboards are a great addition to this upcoming event. I'm Emerson Wood for Gator Vision. Now let us get an interview with the second place winners of the HUEE with Macy Powell. A few weeks ago, students in Delta's video and production class was challenged to making an educational video about saving energy. Mr. Turk then chose the best video to compete against other schools in Missouri and Kansas. Delta finished with proud second, winning $2,000. With this money, we plan to purchase a farm bot for our greenhouse. This will help grow crops, test the soils, and help weed. Let's go talk to our winners, Eva and Olivia. What was your initial reaction to getting chosen to compete against other schools? Um, I was honestly kind of shocked because I thought there were other groups that were better than ours, but he liked ours better, so I was kind of happy. How do you feel about getting second place? Uh, we were really proud to get second place in this contest because it was just a big thing winning $2,000 for the school, and we're proud of Harrisonville for getting first. What was your plan slash idea for this project? Um, well, because of all the Texas blackouts, we thought it would be a good idea to do something that had to do with blackouts and stuff like that. What do you do to save energy at home? Um, I turn off all my lights and unplug all my chargers after like leaving the house and just normal stuff like that. That's all for this interview with our HUEE winners. If you see them in the hallway, be sure to congratulate them. And remember to always try your best to save energy on your own. This has been Quincy Cox for Gator Vision. Now onto Olivia Rosenblum with an entertainment review. Katie used to be my little buddy. The Mitchells vs. The Machines is a new movie that came out April 23rd, 2021, produced by Sony. Are you excited for camp? Don't make me go. When we used to be so connected. Hey, Dad, smile. You know, you could experience things a whole lot better without that camera. Dad, this is how I experience things. I don't think... <laughs> yes, tomorrow I'm finally leaving for college. Young Katie Mitchell embarks on a road trip with her proud parents, younger brother, and beloved dog to start her first year at film school. Family eye contact. Starting. Put your phone down. Now. No, you're allowed to blink. It's just eye contact. Ugh, finally. No screens at the table. Lynn, why are you kicking me? I don't understand. I'm just going to. No, no, look. I'll watch it. Katie Mitchell is a quirky and aspiring filmmaker in Michigan and has recently been accepted into film school in California. But their plans to bond as a family soon get interrupted when the world's electronic devices come to life to stage an uprising. Why do you need all that to take me to the airport? I canceled your plane ticket to college. We are going to drive you to school on a cross-country road trip as a family. This new movie has a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, is an hour and 49 minutes long. The film was originally planned to be released in theaters by Sony Pictures under the title Connected in 2020, but due to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the movie theaters, Sony sold the distribution main rights to Netflix. Drop our biggest invention yet. Meet the helper bot. We promise you they will never, ever turn evil. Mom, what is that? Humans. Technology rising up. 
Sayonara. You can now watch this movie on Netflix. What is this strange creature? Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, loaf of bread. The Mitchells have always been weird. Now on to Isabel Bailey with the instructional video. Welcome to this week's instructional segment of Gator Vision. I'm Isabel Bailey and we will be showing you how to make Shirley Temple. Add the grenadine, then add the sprite. Finally, add the cherries. How do you know how to make Shirley Temples? I'm Cheyenne Paris for Gator Vision. That looks great, I'll have to try that at home. Now, let's play a fun game. Welcome back to game. We're going to be playing Guess Who. We'll say an interesting fact about a teacher and you're going to have to guess who it is. How'd you do? I'm Eva Urmacher for Gator Vision. I'm Nathan Hickman. And I'm Wesley Jones for Gator Vision.